using the wizard. Quick setup. I'm going to confirm my units. And in fact, because I did a quick setup, they did not make architectural. I'll leave my precision at 1 16th. Everything else remains the same. Units we're going to set to architecture. Our precision, we'll leave it at a 16th. Then we're going to go ahead and format our limits. Lower left, 0, 0, upper right, 60 feet, 40 feet. We'll close that, do a zoom all. There's my 60 feet, 40 feet. Enter. Z enter, A enter. Okay, that's for zoom all. Z enter, A enter. I'm going to add two line types. So I can just type in on my command line line type. I'm going to load center two and hidden two and make those available. So I'm going to load center two. And remember, I can go ahead and continue to scroll down, use my control key, and add hidden two to it. You notice I have two chosen now. Click OK. There is a note on number five that says, go to the button that says show details. It says remove the checkbox from the lower left corner, which is use paper space units for scaling. Remove that check. And change the global scale factor from 1 to 48. And click OK. Door, window, plumbing, electrical, wire, lower cab, upper cab, dimension, and appliance. With those colors, with those line types. And number eight, I'm going to be making a text style. That text style is going to give me four different styles that we'll be managing. Remember, I can go into text style by going to format, menu. Remember, we don't use annotative in our class. We use standard. So everything I'm going to be making in new is going to be based on the standard. First one is going to be dimensions. The font is going to be city blueprint. So you need to use your scroll mouse and scroll bar to get to city blueprint. And the height of your text for dimensions is going to be 6 inches. We're going to create a new one. Again, labels. City blueprint is already assigned. We're going to mimic that. Labels is going to be a three inch height. Yeah, Dominic? You good? Yeah. All right. Rooms. And notes. OK. No need to set a current, because we'll be doing that when we create our dimensions. Hopefully, you have. Completed everything. I need to save my work. Garage underscore plan. Do a Z, enter, A, enter. And you're ready to start making walls in number nine.